The city of Lawrence is in mourning. Marine Sergeant Joanny Rosario Pichardo was killed in an attack two weeks ago during evacuations in Afghanistan. And tonight, as Christina Rex tells us, her hometown is getting ready to honor her life and her service. A token. As small as a red solo cup. Ah. From the ground, it's hard to see. I said it's not about me. But take a step back, and the picture becomes clear. Somebody from the hometown is, it's hard. This flag sits above 495 in Lawrence, where the body of Marine Sergeant Yoani Rosario Pichardo will come home on September 11th. Honestly, my heart fell for the family automatically. Um, to have to go through that and to lose somebody that you love. Yeah, words just can't express the, the, the hurt. Sergeant Rosario was killed in the terrorist attack that took 13 American lives just days before the end of the war on terror. You always think it's somebody else's community, somebody else's state, somebody else's family. You never realize it's going to hit you so close to home. The hero's body will come home to Lawrence in a procession Saturday on the 20th anniversary of 9-11. We're here to do what we can to honor her and welcoming, welcoming our home, you know. Every adult can remember where they were that day. I was actually in the car. We're all having a break out, outside and we heard about the plane crashes. My brother, who's a, a Marine as well, um, I was just, I was very scared. I was very scared. That fear and that pain still raw two decades later. Just knowing that he was on the front line, it was, it was a lot. So, and then so knowing that she died, um, you know, 20 years later, it's just. There's nobody braver, you know what I mean? She showed her bravery, wanting to go there, and it was, she was doing something she loved. Community leaders are asking anyone who can to please come hold a flag at tomorrow's procession. Public visitation hours for Sergeant Rosario Pichardo will happen at Veterans Memorial Stadium here in Lawrence on Tuesday. In Lawrence, Christina Rex, WBZ News.